Hi guys, let's look at VLC and install it via the command line. So let's open up a terminal emulator, log in as sudo to access the root account. Do an opt get clean, opt get update. That's almost done. Opt get clean again. Opt cache search VLC and then use a grab to get VLC out of there. And let's first of all uh, make the window a bit bigger. Let's see what versions there are. Okay. Here you see VLC Multimedia Player and Streamer and also VLC Nox Multimedia Player and Streamer without X support. No. Uh, reset or let's uh, do it the nice way. Oh, yeah, clear. Not clean, not clear. You can also use reset, but that's not recommended by me at least. Not catch show VLC and OX. That's an interesting one. Now this is a version that you can use without using uh, X or the graphical interface. So you can start it up from a command line, run it in the background, and etc. And sometimes I use that for certain projects. I like to install them both. But let's see what the difference in size is. So, up get install VLC. Here you see 48.8 MB. No. VLC and OX. And then it states exactly the same. So there isn't much of a difference basically because they depend on the same libraries now what you can install with this is video long documentation uh, i'm not going to do that so let's uh, go step back up get install vlc and vlc nox yes so i want to continue just press enter because the y is capital and there it goes now VLC is a media player it also can receive uh, internet uh, radio uh, you can play DVDs I think even blu-rays I'm not sure about that but it's uh, my preferred media player because it supports many if not well all I wouldn't say all but it supports many uh, video types and when editing stuff and sometimes you get uh, weird formats VLC tends to handle them um, the easiest for me even though it might not be as efficient in rendering images from files as other players might be so it's almost done installing both VLC and VLC Nox players. There it is. Get clean. Exit. Exit. And I do the up get clean many times because I don't want to clutter disk. And it has to do with the file structure. But that's beside the point. Do it at least after you've uh, updated the source list up that get I'm sorry up get update yeah and also once you're done with installing all packages okay normally at least VLC media player there it goes and no you can I don't I don't like uh, an application as this is to get uh, media information. So, save and continue. 
and let's see what version it is. It's 2.0.8 fly or version, and I'm very happy with that. And here you have a basic overview of what it can do. So that's nice. It's a reasonable, or recent version, so I'm very happy with it. Okay, I hope you liked the video, I hope it was informative, and see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.